안녕하세요. Hi guys. I'm back after months of absence and I have to say I've missed these sleepless nights with all the editing and brainstorming. I have moved to Ireland recently. <laughs> Great time to decide to finally create a video about Korea. Time? Did you say time? You know what time it is? It's time. Time is just not enough. Keep going, keep going. You know what time it is? It's about five o'clock. I think it's time for me to start illustrating my point. Do you know what time it is? I guess you I don't know. But what time? You know time. Correct. Bingo. Ding 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 ding. Really, it's just gonna be me painting a portrait of a Korean celebrity. I, I am craving kimchi as we speak. Lovely, lovely Korea. It was my home. Still. About as close as it's going to get. I think the light is okay now. I think I'm happy with this light. Why did it get kind of darker all of a sudden? You know, you have one of those days when things just don't want to follow your lead. Surprise, surprise, the night owl has decided to make a video during the day. <gasps> Hi, I... Who have I decided to paint today? A great member in my personal favorite of... TVX. <laughs> Who else is a fan of K-pop? Woohoo! No, you know. <laughs> this is more of a Twin Peaks reference, really. So, Tokbang Shinki really means the gods of the East, or I think something rather. Why, you may ask? Because creating and feeling a bit of a god is the new sexy. Oh, god. You know, take a shot every time you hear the word you know. How about we just dive into oil painting? Oil paints really are like interior design. If something is not where it should be, you could just easily move it to the right spot. Make sure that you're okay with moist things. I love how many of you love that word. Did you guys know that about 90% of people cry or have cried on a musical piece? And only about 5% of people are moved by an art piece. I mean, might as well just throw the brush and give up on life, right? Fine art. <laughs> it's like responding to contemporary art with an attitude. Fine art. Be what you want to be if you want to be whatever it is that you are. No, no. Listen, this is the thing that I would suggest. <laughs> Don't try and move anyone with your artwork as long as it moves you. Really, the trick is to let it move, let it speak. Indeed. With that being said, I'm going to be drawing a portrait, which is pretty still. Do you know how some people sketch their portraits on the canvas? And then the first thing they do is just jump to the background. I am not going to be critical. However, I would advise you to start with your focus, which is your portrait. Best solution for this is Start with a background on your canvas. You just sketch your portrait there. Sketch me if you wanna. It's going to be much easier to discover light and dark. You really want something to allow for both to be visible enough. From there on, paint will just... It's really paint itself, I mean... No, but... <laughs> an 
advice. When you, like me, are working from references and not life model, because let's face it, most people that I'm constantly painting slash drawing are celebrities and what kind of a luck do you have to have to be one of those artists that actually gets to be in the same room with these people, let alone have a model for you? Uh, <laughs> when you're using a photo, have multiple set of photos. Copyrights, I mean, come on. Preferably of a similar angle slash expression. Combine a photo that is high quality and exposes a lot of details with another photo that is dramatic in shading. So put the two together and you have your perfect setting for a life model session. Because no matter how many references you manage to find, they will not always show you the full story. So often you will just have to wing it. Really, you could just tell people that they model for you and most of them would buy it. If it's well done. Oil painting! You really want to be on top of your values in the beginning of the process. You know, like shading. Look at that. Ooh. The more brushes you use, the easier you'll be able to illustrate your painting. Treat a portrait painting like a sculpture. It is consisted of planes, and each plane has its own value and sits differently in space. Oh, look how this is in focus. Ain't that the right thing? Why is he looking like Mickey Yuchan more than you know? I forgot my fan. It's freaking hot. I thought it was hot in Korea. Well, it is hot in Korea, but I do not live on the rooftop there. Rooftop princess. If you don't know what this is from, research it. Back to painting, drawing, proing, because I'm a pro, appropriately dressed for this. I am a fan of this jacket. So this is a good stage to go back and correct some features. Keep calm and fix it. Good? Alright. Here is a tip. Try and mix your own black. In this case, I'm using Viridian Green, Ultramarine Blue, and Crimson. Those three colors together, about equal amounts, would make you the blackest black. Yet still give it character, because black tends to be a very absorbent color. So if you use it out of the tube, it would just create extremely flat shapes, unflattering even. So unless you're working with something like ink or graphite, I wouldn't recommend you using pure black. But that is just me. I mean, there's other artists out there that may argue that. When you work on a big surface, guys, make sure that you have a good amount of mixture in your palette because it takes a lot of paint to cover this whole thing. Don't you love it when your color decides to camouflage itself and totally blend in with your palette? Here it is. That's more like the you know I know. attention of almost every part of the portrait. Everything is connected. All of these things here have a relationship. They pick up lights and reflections off of each other. So you can't just build your portrait like a puzzle. It's not making enough of a statement here. The best way is to make an impression and let it simmer. This is a good time for us to really get in those details. Also, have some sort of interaction between cools and worms. Weeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
You know that gentleman? Fine young gentleman. Good work. High five.